your scrolling social media undoubtedly have noticed the trending vertical videos nowadays but do you know what the game changer tool is for creating such videos yes it is the newly updated rotorbus tool in after effects the latest update of rotorbus tool allows you to easily paint over the objects you wanna separate which is important for tasks such as isolating foreground objects from the backgrounds and applying effects to a specific parts of a scene now let's see how this can make your editing life faster and easier Inside After Effects, we have a 10 second exercise footage on the timeline. First of all, navigate to the toolbar at the top and select the rotor bus tool. After selecting it, you'll notice that nothing happens and you can't use this tool in the composition panel. Next, you need to double click on this composition which will open up the new layer in the layer panel. If you can't see the rotor bus point, it may be because its diameter is too small. To adjust the rotor brush size, hold on the control key and left click the mouse. Then drag this mouse up or down to adjust the size interactively. Now you can see the green point used to select the subject you wanna isolate. If you hold down the alter key, you'll see the red point which is used to dislike the unwanted areas from your subject. Release the alter key to return to the green rotor brush point. Next, find the frame where the subject is most visible. Avoiding frames where it obscured by other objects, then roughly paint over the subject or foreground you wanna isolate from the background. It doesn't have to be perfect at the beginning but accuracy is always better. Once you release, you'll notice a magenta line masking your subject. Everything inside that line will be visible where anything outside of it will not. Now zoom in on the point by scrolling the mouse wheel and paint over the area of your subject for more precise selection. Initially it may take a little time but it's significantly more efficient than masking frame by frame. Next hold on the spacebar and grab the composition to move it around, finding the areas where selection or deselection is necessary. Hold on the Alt key to switch to the red point, then paint over areas to dislike the unwanted selection. Continue this process to perfectly isolate the selected frame. If necessary, use the Refine Edge tool to fine tune the edges of your selection, especially for hair or other complex edges. To access it, long press the rotor brush tool, then select the option called Refine Edge. This tool allows you for more precise control over the mat's edge parameters, such as feathering and edge contours. Adjust the rotor brush diameters as needed. For example, you can brush around the edges of hair to achieve more precise in that area. Once you release, you'll notice a new black and white mask is created, showing what will be included and excluded. This selection will appear differently, with black areas indicating what is not included, white areas what is included, and grayish areas representing partial transparency. Now you can see these toggles buttons serve with specific purposes related to working with layers and masks. When you click the toggle alpha button, it toggles the visibility of alpha channel for the selected layer, allowing you to view and hide the transparency information if the toggle transparency grid is enabled. The toggle alpha boundary displays the boundary of the marks or alpha channel for the selected layer, making it easier to refine marks or adjust transparency. Click the toggle alpha overlay buttons causes the foreground to appear in color, while the background is tinted with a red overlay. This helps visualize the transparency and how the layers interact with other elements. After setting the base frame, proceed to move the time indicator through the timeline frame by frame to ensure that the subject is properly isolated throughout the video. Add or remove information to your selection as needed. I prefer using the keyboard shortcuts page up and page down to move forward or backward then make necessary adjustments. As I mentioned earlier, while it may take a little extra time to make the isolation process perfect, it's a thousand times better than frame by frame masking. Once you are satisfied with the selection and propagation, click the freeze button. This action locks in rotor brush and refine as adjustments. It essentially tells After Effects to stop making automatic adjustments to the selection. Keep in mind that saving each individual frame may take some time, especially for longer clips. By freezing the rotor brush, you reduce the process load as you move through the timeline. The tool won't keep recalculation the selection which can be resource intensive. Even after freezing, you can still make further adjustments to the mat. If you need to add or remove from the selection, simply unfreeze the propagation using the same button. Now we can get back to the composition here, you can only see the isolated subject. Let's disable the transparency grid for the black background which help us to refine the edges of the isolated subjects or foreground. You can move the time indicator to find the base frame to refine the edges. Next move over to the effect controls then go to the rotor brush mat. Increasing the feather value will create a softer, more gradual transition, blurring the edges of the selection. On the other hand, decreasing the feather value will produce a sharper transition, making the edges of the selection more defined. In my case, it seems 11 is perfect. 
Now regarding contrast, adjusting the contrast can help tighten up the mat. When you increase the contrast, you are making the difference between light and dark areas for more pronounced. It makes the edges of the subject sharper and clear. I wanna set it to around 50% for blur edges. When you apply positive value to the shift edges parameter, it expands the segmentation boundary outward from the original selection. This can be useful when you want to extend or enlarge the selected area. Applying a negative value to the shift edges parameter will decrease the segmentation boundary inward towards the original selection. This can be useful when you need to refine the selection by removing unwanted background. Chatter refers to erotic as movement in editing. Reducing chatter minimizes this noise, giving cleaner edges. There are some other options that can be useful for you if you want more precise adjustments to your isolated video. Check this option to render the mat with motion blur. Motion blur in the rotor bus tool can add motion blur to the fast moving isolated subjects. For example, hands when you move them quickly in front of camera. This is particularly important when you're working with footage that contains rapid or erotic movements as it helps prevent jarring transitions between two frames. Motion blur also has some options for you to customize it. The separation of the foreground from the background using the rotor bus tool is complete. Now we can move to the next step where we are gonna add text or motion graphics to the background. First, color this layer, then you can enable the transparency grid for better understanding. Now select this layer and hit Ctrl plus DK simultaneously to duplicate this layer. After that, select the second layer and go to the effect controls to delete the rotor brush and refine as. Let me explain why you do this. If I hide the underneath layer, then you can only see the upper layer, which is the isolated subject. And if I unhide the underneath layer and hide the upper layer, then you can only see the underneath layer, which is basically the main or raw video that we only use for the background. And now if we add anything like text or motion graphics between these two layers, then it totally changes this video to something engaging. To add text, first you have to deselect all layers by clicking on the blank area. Then right click here and go to new and select text. Type something that suits your video, in my case I'm gonna type exercise. After that you can make some changes to this text, like the font or font style. For example, I'm gonna change the font fill color by clicking on fill. Pick the color you prefer, let's select something like orange for this text. After that, go to the selection tool to enable it. Now let's position the text perfectly. When it's done, you have to grab this text layer and place it between these two layers. And finally, see the magic of Rotobus tool. This is the easy way to make trending shorts, reels and TikTok videos that you see nowadays. Now if I unhide the third layer, then you can easily understand how all these layers are working. Next, add motion graphics to this video as a background. For motion graphics, I'm gonna use the Ajus plugin. You can also use Ajus plugin. It has both paid and free versions. You'll find the links in the description. Now just click on a random motion graphics to add it onto the timeline. Here is the animation layer. Now we can move it to the right. After that, play the time indicator to see how everything looks. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial about how to use updated Rotor Brush Tool 3 in After Effects. I wanna say this update is totally a game changer. In future, I'll make some awesome tutorials using this tool. Hope to see you then.